Speak up English, the key to success. Hey Jake, you won't believe what happened to me last night. Oh no, what's up, Emma? I was robbed. What? Are you serious? What happened? Yeah, it was crazy. I was out with my family, and when we got back home, we found the door wide open. That's terrifying. Did they take a lot? Mostly electronics and some jewelry. Thankfully, no one was hurt, and they didn't take anything irreplaceable. Still, that's so scary. Have you called the police? Yeah, we did right away. They came over, took a report, and even dusted for fingerprints. It felt like something out of a crime show. Did they give you any advice on how to prevent this from happening again? They suggested getting a security system. We're definitely looking into that now. Good idea. It's better to be safe. Speaking of family, how did everyone handle it? My little brother was freaked out, but my parents stayed pretty calm. They handled it well, all things considered. That's good to hear. Family support makes such a difference in tough situations. Absolutely. How about you? Any crazy family stories? Well, nothing as dramatic as yours. But last year, my cousin set the kitchen on fire trying to cook Thanksgiving dinner. It was chaos. Oh no! What happened? He tried to deep fry a turkey indoors. Let's just say it didn't end well. The fire department had to come, and we ended up having takeout for Thanksgiving dinner. That's hilarious. I guess every family has their wild stories. For sure. We still laugh about it now. Thanksgiving will never be the same. Well, I'm glad you can laugh about it. Sometimes all you can do is find the humor in these situations. Exactly. Laughter really is the best medicine. So, after the robbery, my dad went into full-on security mode. He's researching all sorts of gadgets and alarms. That sounds like my dad. When we had a break in a few years ago, he installed cameras everywhere. Now we feel like we're on a reality TV show. Haha, <laughs> I can imagine. It's funny how dads react to these things. Totally. But hey, it gives peace of mind. Plus, those cameras caught the neighbor's dog stealing our newspaper, so there's that. That's too funny. It's like having a little detective in your house. Exactly. By the way, how's your little brother doing now? He's doing better. 
We made a game out of coming up with security measures. Now he's like a mini security expert. That's a great way to handle it. Turn a scary situation into something empowering. Definitely. It's important to stay positive and proactive. Plus, it keeps his mind off the fear. Smart move. Kids can bounce back pretty quickly with the right support. Yeah, and my mom's been amazing too. She's been baking nonstop to keep everyone's spirits up. Ah, the healing power of baked goods. What's her specialty? Her chocolate chip cookies are legendary. She made a huge batch last night, and I think it helped everyone feel a bit better. I could go for some of those right now. Nothing like comfort food to make things feel normal again. Absolutely. Food really does bring people together. It sure does. And speaking of bringing people together, how's the rest of your family handling it? They're doing okay. We're all just trying to support each other and move forward. That's the best way to deal with it. Family really is everything. You know, this whole thing got me thinking about how important it is to stay connected with family and friends. Definitely. Life can be unpredictable, so it's important to cherish the moments we have. Exactly. Even though it was a tough situation, it brought us closer together. That's a silver lining for sure. Adversity can really strengthen bonds. True. And now we have another crazy family story to tell. Haha, <laughs> yes. Every family has their share of wild tales. I guess that's what makes family life so interesting. There's always something happening. Absolutely. It's never boring, that's for sure. Well, thanks for listening, Jake. It feels good to talk about it.